as we desperately wait for the new Mavic 4 Pro. A new drone seems to be on the horizon. Earlier this week, Quadro News leaked this video of the alleged Matrice 4TD being tested alongside the new Dock 3. DJI does seem to be updating their docking platforms rather frequently, so it wouldn't surprise us if we saw a new model released soon. We don't need to talk about leaks anymore. DJI have just announced the Dock 3 and the Matrice 4D series. Now let's jump straight in. We're going to talk about the Dock first and then get into the new drones that were unveiled. The Dock 3 builds on the design of its predecessor, all while offering small but noticeable improvements and a couple of quality of life features. The Dock can now be mounted on moving vehicles for quick and easy deployment on the go. Now this is a feature that is a first for the Dock series, and it's going to be perfect for those who work in a variety of conditions and are always on the move. The improved IP56 rating will ensure that the dock will be able to operate effectively even if pilots are working in less than ideal conditions. Snow, rain, this thing can handle it all. And the spinny thing on top, the built-in weather station, will allow pilots to monitor the conditions and get a better idea of what's going on. So whether you're flying in the scorching heat or the freezing cold, the dock 3 provides some noticeable improvements compared to the previous version. But what about the dock's transmission range? Well, the dock can be paired with a new DRTK3 system, which extends the the range, making sure pilots will always have a clear feed on their drone. This will really come in handy if you're working in a dense city where signal strength can be a bit iffy. The dock will also feature an internal battery with approximately four hours of additional runtime. Now this, this is the big game changer. It's one thing if you're flying for fun, but running out of battery while performing a mission is not good. So we're thankful that this feature is now included in the Dock 3. Let's get into the drones themselves. Both drones feature an IP55 water and dust resistance rating, anti-icing propellers, a 47 minute flight time, and pretty much all the camera tech that you could ever need. The anti-icing propellers are going to improve cold weather operations. The last thing you want when you're flying is ice to accumulate on your aircraft, so this is really going to improve cold weather operations. In terms of the camera, they're going to carry over a lot of the same tech from the Matrice 4 series. They've got a variety of focal lengths, a laser rangefinder, and an infrared camera on the 4TD model. It's got the same full color night scene that we saw on the Matrice 4, which is a welcome feature for those who work frequently in low light conditions. They also could be configured with the new obstacle avoidance module, making sure that you never crash into something. This is sold separately, of course. Seriously, DJI has got the new obstacle avoidance down to the millimeter. Now, I know how much you paid for that drone, and you don't want to destroy it on your first flight. Speaking of which, the bundle retails for $21,059, US of course, and $23,409 for the Matrice 4 TD bundle. Now that's not an inexpensive piece of hardware. These drones are also fast. They can reach speeds of up to 21 meters per second. Now this is going to make sure you never lose a moment in a time sensitive mission. Both units are also compatible with the RC Plus 2 controller, meaning you won't have to worry about lugging around the dock every time you want to fly, unless the mission depends on the dock of course. These features make the DJI Matrice 4D series a powerful tool for professionals requiring reliable and versatile drones for complex operations. Now, back to me outside. Quadro News also shared this photo of what looks like a bunch of code, something seemingly out of the matrix to back it up. If we look close, we can see that a new set of letters say RC Pro 2. Leaks of the RC Pro 2 began to surface last December, and considering the original RC Pro launch in 2022, we'd say it's due for an upgrade. I mean, O3 Plus? Still? it's getting a little bit old. These controllers are designed for professional pilots. They need the best of the best when they're out in the field. They typically offer higher speeds, better transmission range, and a variety of different ports. We're going to take a guess and say it will likely launch sometime in March before the big reveal of the Mavic 4 Pro. We'll keep you posted if anything comes up. You want the Mavic 4 Pro? We want the Mavic 4 Pro, but... I don't see it flying anywhere around here. Late last week, Jasper Ellens released a new rendering of the upcoming drone. Looks the same, right? If we take a closer look, we can see some sort of new sensor on the bottom of the foot. Maybe this is a LiDAR sensor, maybe an infrared, or maybe it's something completely different. The headlighting feature of the Air 3S was LiDAR, so why wouldn't the Mavic 4 Pro have this feature? While it's hard to know for sure, we couldn't help but notice something else. Another sensor in the middle of the body. We're starting to wonder if the Mavic 4 Pro will ditch the fourth obstacle avoidance sensor in favor of a more streamlined approach. Jasper's not talking, so we're going to have to leave this one up to you guys. What do you think it could be? As we get closer to the suspected launch in April, the leaks are seeming to be more polished. This probably indicates that we're not going to see a major change when the launch day comes around. We'll have a full round up of videos of all the Mavic 4 leaks closer to April, so stay tuned for that. A new drone has just been launched, and this time is not from DJI. I mean, finally. Last week, Freefly unveiled their newest model in their fleet, the Astro Max, a drone designed for those working in industrial spaces, doing 3D scans, using LiDAR, and all of the other fun technical stuff. They really emphasize the Max in this one. 
this drone can do a lot. It can be configured with a variety of cameras and payloads designed for different use cases, so the pilot in command is able to execute a lot of different missions with efficiency. It comes in at a fairly affordable price of just 20,000 US dollars, and that's just for the drone itself. All of the payloads are sold separately, but pilots will have a lot of flexibility in this system. I mean, you could rig up a film light to recreate a night scene, attach a high-res camera for mapping, the sky is really the limit with this new drone. The controller also has some cool tricks up its sleeve, like real-time monitoring with LiDAR, six hours of battery life, the ability to plan missions, and a variety of knobs and controls to make sure that you get the most out of your flight. Free Flight isn't like DJI. A lot of their products are modular, so you can mix and match the best builds out of your drone. It's kind of like Legos, just really expensive Legos. By the looks of it, they've also made this drone pretty robust. But please don't hit a telephone pole or that thing over there. Freefly have been pushing the boundaries of what is possible in the drone space for years, and we're excited to see where they go next. You've heard of air traffic control for airplanes, right? Well, now we have air traffic control for drones. Airmarket, a company based out of Alberta, is designing a new system aimed at connecting and monitoring drones when flying beyond visual line of sight. The company is responsible for ensuring that all drones flying beyond line of sight are accounted for and won't pose any risk to manned aircraft or collide with another drone. They're still working on the system, but they are saying that Alberta will see a lot more drone flights by the year 2050 as the technology advances. Drones have become an increasingly powerful tool for first responders. They can provide command centers with the information they need, all while keeping crews on the scene safe and away from obstacles. As we see more and more drones in the sky, an air traffic control system like this could prove a critical tool in the arsenal as we move towards the level one complex rules later this year. At the moment, if you wish to fly your drone beyond visual line of sight in Canada, you'll need to get a special flight operation certificate. If you're curious about special flight operation certificates, we've got a whole podcast that dives into everything you need to know about them. So check it out if you're interested. Boing, Boeing, Boeing like the airplane company, is looking to sell their drone company. Did you even know they made drones in the first place? Well, neither did Cam. The company is looking to sell their subsidiary company in situ, which specializes in drones designed for autonomous flights and military applications. They develop a variety of models equipped with some pretty sophisticated technology and range. These are fixed wing aircraft, multi-rotors, but these aren't like your DJI Mini. Seriously, some of this stuff is super cool. The decision to sell in situ comes at a shift in Boeing's business strategy to focus on their other business applications, like passenger aviation and the defense industry. By the sounds of it, they might be under some financial pressure as well. Military drones are a pretty niche market, and from the sounds of it, a lot of their money comes from private equity firms. It's not like you can just walk into Best Buy and pick up one of these. Earlier this month, they announced a $102.3 million contract, which will see them working with the United States Department of Defense. We're curious to see where this goes, and we'll let you know of any updates along the way. All right, that's it for this week's episode of The Drone News. If you have a comment or a question for us, please leave it in the comments below. Stay tuned for a video this Sunday at 10 a.m. Pacific, where we'll dive into which drone is better, the Mini 4 Pro or the DJI Flip. If you wanna get weekly drone news updates, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next one.